Hello, my name is Sean, aka the Cockney Charmer, and welcome to my next YouTube video. I love Grounded. I love this game. This game is ridiculously amazing. It is the game that if or when Honey I Shrunk the Kids film came out, and if you haven't seen it, do it. If you're too young to know it, I feel bad for you. Um, I got to play a demo of this at XO19 in November 2019. Oh, remember the days when we can actually go out to places and meet people. Long live 2020. But Grandy was an, it's just absolutely captured my imagination. It captured my heart. Um, and I've been waiting to get another chance to play this. I did make an original um, video which was me playing the demo for the first time. Uh, the demo is available on Windows 10 and Xbox console. On Xbox console you have to be in the Insiders program. So basically go to the store, search for the Insiders hub, install it and grab the demo from there. It will enter Xbox Game Pass um, fully or at least in the preview mode um, on July 28th. So until then we have the short 30 minute demo um, that has one objective there's a mysterious machine that we want, that we want you to investigate um, and I'm going to show you how to do it and essentially complete the main objective of the demo let's go with hoops for no apparent reason other than the fact that she's got a proper hero pose I can't wait for the full version of this game to come out. I love it. It's got exploration. It's got science. You're teeny tiny. There are bugs. Building mechanics. Crafting mechanics. Even survival mechanics. Like monitoring your health. Food. Water. There's so much to it. Um, this is of course being played on the Xbox One X. And it looks in incredible um, so of course the demo starts with you appearing in the garden you have been shrunk you don't know why you don't know how and I implore anyone to start this demo and not look up just for scale that's a baseball just to give you some idea how small you are up the top you can see that there's a 30 minute timer on the demo now for me, having now run this a few times, it is very important to pick up as many materials as you can for crafting. Because this initially it just saves a lot of time. So you want to pick up pebbles, you want to pick up plant fibre, you want to uh, pick up the sprigs. These are everything that you can use to craft. For example, right now we can craft a spear which you can block with ha! you can throw you can stab your poke of course what I love about the demo is that the demo guides you a little bit but doesn't guide you all the way so a lot of this you can't kind of have to learn so the first time I played the demo which is what I recorded was me just exploring really having a look at the world trying to figure out what to do and of course I ran out of time and I also picked a fight with a couple of spiders and lost which wasn't great but basically if you jump into the demo and just start picking up what you can actually discover you can pick up so pick up the plant fibers the pebbles the sprigs the spear you um, already know how to craft but if you notice we have very little there's, there's not much you can only do the pebble spirit um, so of course once you maneuver a little bit more into the environment you get your first little marker to go and be guided towards a, a field station there seems to be quite a few of these set up in the garden um, which you will uncover as you I would imagine you would start uncovering a lot more why they're there who knows we can only imagine whoever came up with the technology to shrink things 
um, has sent either themselves or a team out and this is their research station so this is the field station now when you first come up to this when you first play the game it won't make a lot of sense but what I advise you do is from the items that you've picked up analyze them when you analyze the objects it will tell you what you can then build with things so you then have to then you then have the blueprint so we've just learned how to make a pebble axe if we scan the plant fiber we've now learned to make the woven fiber so different materials can become can be crafted into something else that can then be crafted a different tool or structure or whatever it is that you need and we just analyze this brig you can see the analyzer only has enough charge to do free analysis um, it will recharge over time so as you can see we can now have a lot more items that we can craft which is very nice one of the things I love about the, um, the crafting which I hadn't realized um, I was going from menu to menu trying to craft the things I needed before realizing and I love to thank the lovely people at Xbox on for their fantastic video on their YouTube channel so go to youtube.com forward slash Xbox on where the lovely Henry guides us through what to do and I then learn that you can actually so it for whatever item you have it will highlight it for you beneath the item and it will allow you to craft the component if you have the resources from there and there because what I was doing was going oh I need woven fiber okay I'll make it here so I was going for about three different crafting menus before I realized thanks to the video that all you need to do is just highlight the main tool you want to make and the game will take care of the rest Now there's a little tutorial you guys that you can uh, you can follow. So basically, it will show you how to find food, how to find drink. Ants, I love ants. They are awesome. To start with, they are very friendly. They will not attack you. As you can see, they're very curious about you. However, if you try to attack them in any way, they will get aggressive, and their mates will come and they will bite you. So I recommend leaving the ants alone. Basically, if a bug attacks you first. then you know you can fight them but ants will generally leave you alone so if any, if any bugs is aggressive to you to start off with nets nets are annoying It just mm. again you you start to the more you kind of investigate the more you start analyzing units and because the demo is only 30 minutes and basically every time um, you play the demo you're basically starting from scratch so this is one of the things I'm definitely going to be exploring when the game comes to game pass on July 28th is what you can start crafting when you start taking up all the bugs such as I mean you can craft armor food when you start building your base okay so that's enough resources so if you play the demo you may come across this machine and this is basically the main objective of the demo itself you have a little look just to see how tiny you are you're basically Ant-Man level I love the detailing on this Chips with a soldered collection to the mother uh, to the circuit board. Now, who's ominent practical technologies? Now, that's either the maker of the chip or the maker of the device. So, once you've found it, if basically if you come, you can basically get on top in a variety of ways. But if you jump on top, you can see there's some kind of platform with burn marks, and we have one, two, 
three lasers of type stack seem to be targeting these columns. So we head over here, we can see science. Why would you have a science dial? That. Oh, hello. Again, be very careful. The ants will not attack you in this demo unless you attack them. Ah, push. So you can see, we now have the three lasers are targeting these points. One is perfectly fine. One is slightly broken, and this is the one that's going to take up majority of the time. And this one, it seems to be completely obstructed by a blade of grass. So what we need here is that we need a pebble axe, which we can craft and equip. It's basically, come out towards blocks. chop it down so we have a clean connection but now we have to sort out why this is so broken now I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I know there's certain something that we need so what I need to find there's some dry grass, there we go. Now this was something I didn't do the first couple of times I played this. But what we really want is a torch. But frankly the game provides as you go along it's very very handy I love the fact that they've not um, they've they've made the crafting simple enough to do by still intelligent in the elements that you need to do the crafting which I absolutely appreciate there's a there is a science to this it's not just Hello. Now those things are normally friendly and I just hit the trigger at the wrong time. So that was my fault. So we need sap in order to make a torch. Now I will show you why I'm not crafting a hammer straight away so again if you get more well, like if you get lost or you get a bit confused we have to do is look up and you can pretty much see okay we'll grab this water because the can I <laughs> Ah, that wasn't what I was expecting to happen. Because uh, I just noticed my first case of looking at the bottom left hand corner. Ha! Ha! Ah, one blade of glass. go clean water right enough distractions so we need to find out what's causing the laser to intermittently stop firing something's breaking the stream or the beam oh look so you can see the power cable that's running um, from the device, and then you can see these little these little mites nibbling away. So take into a get out of it. 
and this is why you need the torch. The first time I did this, I brute forced this. I basically just followed the cable all the way into, into the cave in the dark. And just to show you how dark it is, if I, if I, if I turn the torch off, see? So yeah, I recommend crafting a torch before you come down here. It's also just a good idea just to basically craft all the basic stuff you can. Um, so you've always got it with you, so the axe, torch, spears. Of course, you, the first time I actually made it all the way down here, these are natural kind of glowing that you can use as a torch if you don't have one. Now, the only issue that I have with the demo so far is the fact that the pebble hammer, when I've made it, hasn't appeared in the in the wheel. And I don't know why. Normally, when you cross something, it just automatically takes the next um, slot. Um, but for me, for some strange reason, I craft the hammer and it doesn't. So I find the best way to do it is, especially for this bit, is to make sure, again, make sure you have the elements, components needed to craft it. And then once you get down here, craft the hammer. So, the game still wants us to find out what's going on, so I'm going to head back outside. But sometimes, not every time, normally when you clear out the cave that's enough, or oh, I say cave, it's just a hole in the ground. But normally once you clear it out, that's normally good enough. Um, but every now and the last couple of runs that I've done, There's been areas. There's one last little bugger hiding up the top. Okay, the beam is now true, so we can now head back to the machine. These are clover leaves. I'm just going to grab these for later because there's something else that you can build. Of course, it's always worth minding. Have a look at every tool has a purple kind of health bar. Um, that shows you how much to wear and tear before you have to repair or make another one. So normally in games like this, I will always have, I'll always make two of everything. And with spears, I normally make a good probably about five because they're a throwing weapon as well. Um, the demo doesn't really call for that, but again, one of the great things about this demo is that it's teaching you to, or preparing you for the full game when it comes to the Xbox Game Pass on July 28th. Also, can we just say just how sexy and amazing the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is? It gives you access to Xbox Game Pass for console, for PC. On the console, it also gives you Xbox Live Gold. Um, for me, I don't play games on PC, um, so that side of it um, doesn't help. But the cost of the game X for console and Xbox Live Gold, just as an example, just to show you how uh, wonderful it is before we finish this off. Um, at time of recording, we are now two days after The Last of Us Part 2 has come out. And the money that I have saved via Xbox Game Pass has enabled me to purchase The Last of Us Part 2 the Cyberpunk 2077 Xbox wireless controller and pre-order Ghost of Tsushima uh, for PlayStation 4 so it's not just the benefits you get from the Game Pass for, on Xbox it enables you if you are a multi-platform gamer to spend your money on other platforms it's just ridiculous Xbox know this and they're happy for it to happy happen. God bless them. So, 
we've returned here and as we can see thanks to our hard work all three laser beams are now true the device seems to be happy and we have a new button activated pardon the pun so we'll push it and you will be rewarded with a cutscene Now, I have my own theory about this. I think that these are the Embiggen lasers. Because that, that platform and those burn marks, I think this is where, if you're shrunk, I think this is where you come to become large again. And as we can see from our cutscene, something's gone wrong and a chain reaction has caused one of the laser platforms to blow up and an explosion someplace else. But that is where the story content of the demo comes to an end. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you solve the mysterious machine. Now, of course, once you know, you can do it so much faster. You know what to craft. You know where to go. You can literally do it within 10 minutes. I've been waffling a little bit. But thankfully, the demo allows you to carry on. Because this is the only story content that it wants you to do. Um, other than that, you can, you're pretty much free to just now explore. But I would like to thank you uh, for watching this video. Um, if it has helped in any way, please do hit that like button. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. As you see, there are vi gameplay videos from Xbox and PlayStation 4. Um, I will be streaming this when it comes to Game Pass on July 28th. I can't wait for the multiplayer aspect of this to switch on. You can share this game we have to three people where you can play completely solo oh, I just can't wait to play this game properly I fell in love with it XO19 I'm even more in love with it now thanks to the demo so Lady Bird's it something's miffed it oh, it's, just, it's, it's Lady Bird so until next time thank you very much for watching I've been Sean aka the Cockney Charmer be safe take care be kind to others. Happy gaming.